Hello, I'm Kimberly Walsh, and welcome to Insiders Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without the quack propaganda. Today, we'll be talking about the good and bad news about a new HIV prevention pill being tested in Africa, as well as some new combat boxer shorts for our troops that are decreasing the chances of injury and infection in our privates' privates. Researchers in Africa have been testing a daily HIV prevention pill, Truvada, on thousands of men and women in Africa, with mixed results. The good news is that previous studies have shown the HIV rate is cut by about 44% in gay and bisexual men. Those are pretty great numbers, especially in an area with such a high infection rate. With 44% less cases of HIV, they would be saving thousands of lives every year. Unfortunately, this pill isn't a one-size-fits-all, and they've halted testing on women because it's proven to be wholly ineffective. In Africa, men are still very much the dominant sex, so finding a pill that would decrease a woman's chances of infection is a priority. There are even cultures that believe sex with a virgin will cure you of HIV, a devastating mistruth that medical professionals are trying to dispel. So while any good news is great news when you're talking HIV, it's back to the drawing board. Here's hoping both prevention and awareness can hit 100% very soon. In other news, U.S. military has been working hard at protecting our soldiers. Thicker helmets with better padding, advanced gear with the latest technology, and now, underwear that can protect the groins of our boys at war. While it may seem silly at first, one of the hardest things a soldier can deal with is losing the functionality of his or her sexual organs, which often leads to serious post-traumatic stress. The boxers can't stop bullets or shrapnel, but they do protect from small projectiles kicked up by an explosion. It would also make wounds cleaner, less ragged, and easier to treat because the shorts are treated with antimicrobial agents. But that's not where the U.S. is stopping. They're also testing various cups a male soldier can wear over his genitals, also working hard to protect our boys' boys. While this testing phase could last for some time before it's considered battle-ready, we're glad to see any improvements in the safety of our troops, no matter what area they're protecting. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.